Rent is up again. It hit a record high in January, according to data released by Rentals.ca and research firm Urban Nation. The average asking price in the country in January was nearly $2,000. That's up 10% from this time last year. At 17%, Edmonton saw the biggest jump, but Vancouver remains the most expensive city to rent in. A one-bedroom unit there will set you back nearly $2,700 on average. Burnaby, B.C. is close behind, and Toronto is the third most expensive city. Well, to talk more about these rising rent prices across the country, we're joined by Tom Davidoff. He is the director of the Centre for Urban Economics and Real Estate at the University of British Columbia and joins us tonight from Vancouver. So, Tom, uh, are, are you surprised that the average rent prices hit another record high? No, uh, we've seen uh, a high degree of immigration. We've got lots of household formation on the part of uh, the millennials and uh, tough to buy a house these days so people aren't graduating into home ownership. You know, some justify the rent increase saying that cities like Toronto are becoming world class, so it's reasonable they reach London or New York level prices eventually. But we're also seeing prices go up in smaller rural and more remote communities. How do you mm, square that circle? Well, some of that could be lingering work from home. Uh, it could be escape the expensive cities and go to the cheaper parts of Canada. You know, a lot of our price growth and rent growth is driven by immigration. Immigrants are inherently mobile people. So if you have markets uh, where you can find amenity and a good wage, uh, but lower prices, nature abhors a vacuum, and we should see reasonable equalization of overall quality of life across cities. When it comes to regulating the housing crisis, there's a lot of emphasis on home buying. What needs to be done to make sure our rental market is more affordable? Well, over time, there's really two important things. Number one, of course, is some households aren't going to be able to afford market rents no matter what, and they need income support. Uh, but for everybody else, uh, what's needed is more homes. Our fundamental problem is too many people chasing not enough homes. The good news is the federal government, the provincial governments, uh, and a lot of municipal governments have gotten the message uh, and recognize we can't have single-family uh, detached home ownership dream uh, everywhere because, uh, you know, that, that's just not an affordable product. We need more apartments and townhomes, and uh, we're making decent progress there. You know, we also learned that Canada is seeing the lowest national vacancy rate on record since the Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation began tracking that data in 1988. How does that play into rent getting higher? Yeah, too many people, not enough homes. That's the fundamental issue uh, with high rents, and we're getting... A